Yo, Major Slack here, how y'all doing? Here's a few methods of taking down the brute on chapter 4, okay? The brute that you face right after uh, you talk to Hammond, chapter 4 of Dead Space, okay? And that brute comes right out of there, okay? And basically, you want to try and take him down using as little ammo as possible because he coughs up 5,000 credits. So, <laughs> you want to try to take him down using less than 5,000 credits worth of ammunition. So here's a couple of methods, a couple of three methods I've worked out of taking them down quick and fast and not using too much ammo. First method is the timed mine method. That's the alternate uh, firing mode on the line gun. Okay, we're gonna lay in it. Lay in it. First we're gonna approach, okay, get him to come out. Then we're gonna lay in a timed mine there, a timed mine there, and then put him in stasis and he'll be charging out by that time and he'll charge past the timed mines time mines will go off right behind him and he's vulnerable from behind right so that'll do a lot of damage and then we'll lay in another time mine right at our feet here and he'll come charging towards us we'll dart dart dodge out of the way and with any luck he'll go charging past that time mine and it'll go off right as um, he's gone past us and that sh third time mine should finish him off right so that's uh, three Times mines, three line racks, each line rack's a thousand credits. Three thousand credits, that's how much it costs you. So let's give it a try. Here he comes. Stasis. First time mine goes off, second time mine goes off. That's it. <laughs> Took him down before Isaac or before Zach. Yeah, I know Zach. He's already dead. <laughs> Took him down before Zach could even tell me how to take him down. Yeah, that's a really easy method of taking down the brute on Chapter Four. Real cheap. Costs you three line racks, and you get five thousand credits out of this guy. Net return on your investment: two thousand credits. Cha ching. Here's another method of taking down the brute. Um, on chapter 4, beginning of chapter 4 here, using the plasma cutter, okay? Put a plasma cutter in vertical mode, okay? And you're going to take a hit, but um, what it's going to do is it's going to uh, trigger this animation, this this animation with the brute where he, like, he's like a gorilla and he starts, you know, pounding the, the ground with his fists. And once you've got him like that, put him in stasis and then you're going to target one of his shoulder blades. All, all his joints where you see the yellow, the yellow shit on his joints, they're all vulnerable points, okay? So what we're going to do is um, get him to come out and um, harass him a little bit, maybe with that fire extinguisher, you know, use Kinesis module, whip it at him. Get him mad, get him to charge us. He's going to charge us, knock us down. As soon as we get up, he's going to go into that pound the fist, you know, I'm such a big badass gorilla kind of thing, right? And when you get him like that, put him in stasis and then target one of his shoulders, okay? ba-bam with the plasma cutter and one or two shots should get him to curl up into a ball that's all it takes and once he curls up to the ball we run up to him target one of his legs bam 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 with the plasma cutter chop off one of his legs and you got him dead to rights that's it okay so let's do that there he goes use the fire extinguisher whip right at him try to hit him a little bit and he's gonna hit you. Let him hit you. Stasis. Now aim right at that. One shot. He's down. He's curled up into the ball. Run right up, okay? And target that leg right there. Keep blasting away. Chopped off his leg, and that's it. You got him dead to right. Back up. He's in barf ball mode now. Once one of his legs is chopped off, use Kinesis to catch the barf balls and whip him back at him. Ah, come on, you big baby. I'm just using a plasma cutter. Another bark ball. Use Kinesis to catch it and throw it back at him. That's it. He's dead. And that costs us nine plasma rounds. Each plasma round is 200 credits, so that's 1,800 credits that costs us, plus a little bit of health. I'm not sure how to factor in how much health that cost us, but, you know, not that much. We took a bit of a hit. And, you know, it should be less than 2,500 credits altogether that it'll cost you. And, um, you get 5,000.
Alright, so that's another cheap and easy method of taking him down. Alright. And here's a variation of the pulse rifle method I used in my walkthrough. In my walkthrough, what I did was I, uh, I target as soon as he, as soon as he came bursting out of that doorway there, I targeted one of his legs and just kept blasting away on that leg, working on that leg. And then when he charged me, I dodged out of the way, turned around, finished off that leg, um, pretty much on the first go on the, after the first charge. And after his leg was shot off, after one of his legs is shot off, he goes into barf ball mode, and you got him dead to rights because he just he could just use the kinesis module to catch the barf balls and whip it back at him and finish him off like that. All right, but if you're in too much of a panic to target his leg as he's coming charging towards you, <laughs> or if you're just a little freaked out by the brute, you can just harass him anywhere on his body. Just keep blasting away with the pulse rifle short controlled burst to save on ammo okay all you have to do is just harass him just keep harassing him okay when he charges you dodge out of the way harass him some more charge you see again dodge out of the way harass him some more and by the third time of harassing him like that you should get him to curl up into a ball once he curls up into a ball run up carefully target the joint on one of his legs blast away blast off the leg and that's it that's all it takes once you've got his leg chopped off back away you got him into bar ball mode Catches bar balls, we'll be back at him, and he's dead. Okay, so let's give that method a try. Get him to move out. Don't forget to use this fire extinguisher here to your advantage. Whip it at him. Just keep blasting away anywhere on his body. Just, just a short control burst. He charges at you. Dodge out of the way. Blast him some more. Blast him some more. Right out of the way. See, now he's curled up in the ball. Got him dead to rights. Run up. Carefully target the leg. Chopped off the leg. He's in barf ball mode now. He's kinesis to catch the barf balls. <laughs> Come on, you big baby. Come on. Big boys don't cry. Come on. Up and at him. Let's go. At a boy. Catch the barf balls. He's kinesis. Catch. Throw it back. That's it, he's dead. And that cost us 36 pulse rounds. So each pulse round costs you 50 credits, so that means it costs us uh, 1800 credits. Net return on our investment, 3200 credits. Cha-ching. And finally, not a method I'm fond of at all, <laughs> but it can be done. I've seen it done, and uh, I mean, I discovered this too as soon as I started playing. And I was first thing I did was, you know, try to find some place where he couldn't go. And obviously, it's in the stairs. You'll you'll find out that soon enough. Any stairwell, go into the stairwell, and you can't go there. Okay, another stairwell over here, and just hide out there. But what he'll do is the game is the game isn't stupid. <laughs> The game will have him run away and hide behind the elevators there, okay? Whichever stairwell you're at, he'll hide on the opposite side, opposite side so you can't get him. So what you gotta do is kinda like lure him out, run out there, and then quickly back up, and then, you know, get back in the stairwell and shoot him as he's running away. Very tedious method of, of killing him, but um, it can be done. Not at all one of my favorite methods. I think it uses up too much ammo, and it's it's just too tedious, but I'll just give you an example of that. I'm not going to go through with it, but just give you an example of how it Here he comes. Right away. Go on the stairwell. See, he's running away now. Okay. And now we got to lure him out. So run up here like this. He comes at you. Run back. And just keep working on him like that. Until you eventually kill him. <laughs> Personally, I think it's a bit of a cheat, um, but if you really don't want to do the fisty cuffs at close range thing with the brute, <laughs> use the stairs. So, those are several methods of taking down the brute. Uh, at the beginning of chapter 4 on Dead Space, these were all recorded on the normal difficulty level of Dead Space. And, um, yeah. <laughs> and 
and don't forget to check my Dead Space walkthrough for more strategies, tips, and tricks on how to play this great survival horror. So thanks for watching, and Slack out. <laughs>